The Meshing Module on Slicer allows the interactive creation of a 3D volumetric finite element mesh from a polygonal surface. This is part of a workflow that goes all the way from a source image to a finite element mesh all within one interface, Slicer 3. In this step, we're going to take interactive building blocks that are used to wrap around an object and use that, those building blocks to create a 3D mesh. We have here a surface object and we're going to load a building block. This can be built interactively in the same session. To save the time, we're just going to load one that was done before. The file names are, bec are based on the use of the name of the surface and an operations. You'll see this one has a split in it, which means we use the split editing operation to create the building block to make it better fit around the object. So we've loaded a building block. In an er earlier video, we talked about how to edit them. You can also delete them or save them, and you'll see the objects that are in place here. Here's the, uh, the surface that we want to edit. Here's the building block, and you can enable or disable the view of the objects from up here. So now that we have a building block, we're going to move on to the next step to the right here in, in this uh, tabs. Remember, we're generally working from our left to the right. We're going to pick the, the mesh tab. We're going to assign mesh seeds, which tell the uh, algorithm here the how many how many subdivisions to split along these boxes so that uh, we're going to project down. This is the density of the mesh. We're going to color code it to show the number of seeds that will split along here. So this is a long one. It's going to give us in the 20 range. This is splitting um, 20 subdivide divisions. This red one here is more like 12 to 14 divisions. So this amount of density of splitting can be controlled by changing the element lengths here. We're going to accept this default, apply and close this one, and then we're going to go to creating of a mesh. We're going to choose a volumetric mesh. We're picking the building block. It's going to assume the last building block that was chosen, but if we want to expand this and, and review which surface and which building block that we're going to use, that's how we can get to it and we can pick different ones. Uh, but the default is to use the last two um, objects, the surface and the building block that are up here on your uh, history, your object manager. So we're going to go down to here and then we can pick a certain portion. We're going to just give a little names to the, all the nodes and all the elements because we want to mesh this uh, all the way. We have the option of performing smoothing uh, after the mesh is created, um, which is usually gives a, a improvement and we're going to apply that. You can control the smoothing parameters also by looking in here. There we have, what we've done is we've taken that building block and we've projected it down onto the mesh. Um, and by default we've also turned off the building block up here on the object manager. If I turn it back on for a second, you'll see these, these divisions, these subdivisions along this building block were what were projected down onto the surface in the uh, course of the mesh. We'll turn that off. And so now we have a three-dimensional mesh that's right here. And, uh, and we were able to create that through the, what we call the projection algorithm. We, uh, well, the next step of our video is that we can examine the quality of that mesh. But before we do that, let's look at some of the other options within the meshing um, subpanel here. We can load meshes that have been created before in a previous session. Similarly, we can save ones after the step that we just performed. We could save it. Um, once a mesh has been created, we can export it into uh, uh, the file format for the Abacus Finite Element Solver. We can also do some uh, some um, editing changes of the of the uh, nodes themselves. So this gives us an explanation of the meshing uh, tab here in the uh, meshing module for Slicer 3.